A 19 year old taking the NBA by storm. He's doing things that only very few rookies have done in the NBA's history and is in no way shape or form going to lose the NBA 2019 Rookie of the Year. This kid is truly that good. In fact, he is that good that he should have made the 2019 NBA All-Star Game as well. The third overall pick in the 2018 draft is amongst the top five rookies in every statistical offensive category. He's registered at 20.4 points per game, almost seven rebounds and 5.4 assists per game. When you look at the fan voting, he tallied in behind LeBron and Giannis as the third most votes for the NBA All-Star Game. LeBron is the captain and so is Giannis, which shows how great Luka is through the fans' eyes. And this isn't a compensation vote that players like Derrick Rose get and, you know, a few years ago, Zasa Pachulia. This is a vote that people actually wanted to see in the All-Star game. And I get that he has the whole European fan base behind him, but at the same time, he almost deserves to have the amount of votes that he has had. Maybe not third amongst all NBA players, but he does deserve to have a large fan voting considering how good he has been playing in his first ever NBA season. I understand how the All-Stars are selected, as the fans only account for 50% of the overall vote. The media and players have a 25% stake, and the coaches count for the final 25%, which is an attempt to prevent fans from picking a fan favourite, like I said, Dwayne Wade, Derrick Rose, Zaza Pachulia, because a player that's undeserving, like Zaza Pachulia, who was coming second at one point in the voting a couple of years ago, if you've watched the kid play, he is clearly deserving. Luka Doncic is one of those players that isn't just deserving for a rookie, but for an NBA player in general. Now, let's break it down. Before I get started, if you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoy these types of videos. So here is the case, just the case, for why Luka Doncic should have been an All-Star in 2019. And I'm not necessarily saying that he should have been 100% in over someone like Drew Holiday or other players in the league, I'm just making a case for why Luka should have been in the All-Star game for 2019. And obviously I get his time will eventually come and I'd love to hear your thoughts on if he got snubbed or not, or if he really just should not have made it at all. First off, we have to look at who he would have been replacing if he were to have made the All-Star game. Obviously, he's in the Western Conference, and he probably would not have been named a starter despite the fan vote. Obviously, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Paul George, James Harden, and LeBron have had incredible seasons, and they've shown it each and every year. They are clearly deserving to be named the starters for the West. Now, the first argument is that Doncic has not led his team to enough wins to be named an All-Star. Well, number one, this is an all-star game, not an MVP race. So wins and losses shouldn't be a huge factor in making the team or not. But I will agree, no player should be named an all-star if their team is playing horribly versus someone who's on the fence of making the team and their team is actually winning. The second point is that the Mavericks at the time of recording this video have had a better record than the Pelicans who have Anthony Davis despite his injury in the game as they have a 23 and 31 record and the Dallas Mavericks have a 24 and 28 record. And a one game below the Timberwolves who have Carl Anthony Towns in addition to only being three less wins away from the Lakers who have LeBron James, the captain of the West. Now I understand that obviously LeBron James and Anthony Davis will probably make it each and every year they play and are healthy. I understand that. But all I'm saying is their records shouldn't be a major factor for Doncic not to have made it because clearly their record is not much better, if not worse, considering he has a similar record to Towns and Davis and a better record than the two East players in Bill and Vucevic. So fan voting a tick, record not questionable enough not to have made it. Now let's look at the stats. Let me give you a few players and you tell me who the All-Star is. And these are the stats at the time of recording this video. Player 1, he averages 21.8 points on 46% shooting, 4 rebounds and 2 assists. Player 2, he averages 20.7 points on 46% shooting with 7 rebounds and 5.5 assists. And this third player averages 21 points, 8.9 rebounds and 2.6 assists. The first player was Klay Thompson, who gets far more open looks than Luka Doncic has this entire season, and 
pretty much since he's got Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant on his team, and now DeMarcus Cousins as well. He averages just one point more. The final player was LaMarcus Aldridge. Now, I know it doesn't really make sense considering he's part of the front court, but actually it does make sense because Luka, for the All-Star game, was voted in as a front court player. For some weird reason, which I don't really understand because he actually plays shooting guard, Harrison Barnes, he recently got traded, but he was actually the small forward for pretty much the entire season. So Luka was actually voted in as a front court player when really I believe he's played most of the year at the 2 with Barnes playing at the 3. So honestly, I believe he should have replaced Clay, even though he wasn't a shooting guard for the All-Star game. I feel they should have had some exception considering he's been a shooting guard for the entirety of this year. Now don't get me wrong, Clay Thompson has been so hot recently. In the last month or two, Clay Thompson has almost been unstoppable. But Luka Doncic overall, when you count the entire season, has had a better season in terms of stats, and just because the Warriors are the first seed with four other All-Stars on his team, I believe he gets some very good looks from the floor that Doncic struggles to get each and every night. Rather, he has to create his own shot each and every night, which to me is far harder task, not to mention he also facilitates for the rest of his teammates, which Clay doesn't really do. Lastly, Clay averages just one more point whilst taking 18.4 field goal attempts. Luka Doncic only takes 15.8, so Clay Thompson has more open looks, more shot attempts, and plays an extra two minutes per game. I understand, Clay Thompson, he's a terrific player, one of the greatest shooters in the NBA of all time. But statistically speaking, Doncic has had a better season. Thompson struggled to open the year, which we all pretty much know how he started off this year. And whilst he has rebounded from his horrible start, he's just shooting 37.9% from the arc, his worst percentage in his eight year career. He's also connected on 46.2% of his total shots, his worst field goal percentage since 2013-2014. Whereas Luka Doncic, he's had a fantastic season and many believed he'd end up in the game, including myself. The first rookie since Blake Griffin, whilst the Mavericks are just 23 and 27, but are much improved off last season. Doncic is the main reason why. And this is why I think he deserves to be an NBA All-Star. But look, I can obviously see why Luka Doncic isn't an All-Star this season. I've been following the NBA for a while, and I have seen this before. This is just a case for why Luka Doncic isn't. But when you look at why I think he should have been, possibly... It's just the same reason why Ben Simmons should have been one last season, behind Goran Dragic, when realistically, I think everyone can agree looking back that Ben Simmons should have been one and Goran Dragic shouldn't have been, and I'm a Heat fan saying that. Clearly though, I have a large bias towards Ben Simmons, but at the same time, I think we can all agree that Ben Simmons should have been one. I don't think that's a question at this point. So that's why I believe that Luka Doncic could have made the All-Star game this season. And based on the Mavs record, I can see why he isn't an All-Star. But like I said, I don't think the record should have a major factor, considering many other players have made it and their records aren't better than the Mavs. His statistics don't prove otherwise, so I don't see why he shouldn't have made it. With that being said, I'd love to hear what you guys think down below. Was Luka snubbed from the All-Star game or was he not? Let me know what you guys think down below. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you're new. Let's try and reach 1,000 likes for the next video. The next video is actually an IRL video, so I'd love if you guys could stay tuned for that. It's actually a really fun video, so I'll leave a sneak peek right now so you guys can watch. Please hit that notification button so you don't miss the video. But yeah, if you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you're new. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to follow my Instagram and the vlog channel, which I'm starting up very, very soon, in the description box down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace.